Qatar and Indonesia may be thousands of kilometers apart, but the two countries have more in common than you think, especially when it comes to their love for coffee. Call it kopi or kahwa, the drink transcends borders and taste buds so much that the National Museum of Qatar brewed an exhibition on the beans that bind. And I got a special tasting experience. This is clover. Clover? Ah! Yes, <laughs> very strong. Coffee plays a very important role. It is beyond just a commodity and drink. It is a kind of a social rule in our uh, daily life. Like many Indonesians, His Excellency Ridwan Hassan loves starting his day with black coffee. You can say it's a ritual that defies language and culture. Around the world, having a coffee in the morning is a daily habit to fuel work, conversations and interactions with others. Particularly in Indonesia and Qatar, the shared love for coffee began centuries ago and that's what growing kopi, drinking kawa, is about. So here you can see, yeah. these are the coffee cups. Yes. I like the cardamom and some spices maybe, yeah. like a spicy. In this exhibit, we explain the story of coffee from the discovery of coffee, the name, how it moved around in the world, starting from Ethiopia all the way to Indonesia, and uh, the uh, history of coffee in different parts of the world. If we trace back our history on the 1600, coffee was brought and introduced by the Dutch as a part of the global trade at that time. And since that time, coffee is widely spread to Indonesia and become one of the important commodities in our economy. From a short film about a traditional Qatari majlis to a coffee shop in the heart of Jakarta, a big part of the exhibition explains how the two countries serve coffee, where presentation goes hand in hand with enjoying a cup of joe. For generations, coffee has played a major role in Qatari households in creating a respectful and welcoming environment for visiting guests. In every majlis, you'll find a coffee pot and a teapot and it's accessible by everyone, but usually you find someone, usually the youngest man, pouring the coffee for the guests. So if you have a guest coming into the majlis, serving them coffee is an honor. It's a, a, a medium for bonding and, and, and communication here in the Middle East. Coffee has even been used as a mediator between feuding tribes in ancient times, while today it can be the game-changing factor to seal business deals. This tradition has, uh, is now being adopted by the corporate world, actually. So here in Qatar, there are many corporate uh, companies and uh, even uh, foreign people that come to Qatar, uh, for example, Chinese, uh, they would learn these traditions and even offer these uh, coffee cups for the Arabs when they want to uh, talk and, and strike a deal. While most Qatari households serve Arabic coffee, Indonesia is home to at least 10 varieties of coffee beans, so it's no wonder the country is one of the world's top producers of coffee. Last year alone, Indonesia exported more than 430,000 tonnes, amounting to around $1.2 billion. Indonesia consists of thousands of islands, 17,000 islands, small, medium and big size, you know. And every region has its own uniqueness. When you are talking about the, the diversity of the coffee, the taste of coffee, Indonesia is the place. From Robusta to Arabica to Liberica, and even one with an unusual, or some would say, acquired flavor profile. It is very interesting. Kopi luwak. Luwak is a small animal. It's like a civet, something like that. And it, it chooses the best of the coffee beans. And then it's swollen by this animal. And it has a certain digestive process. After a rigorous process of cleaning, the final outcome brews a cup of coffee that can cost up to $500, the most expensive in the world.
It's not everyone's cup of tea, but for their adventurous, the bitter taste may be well worth the money. So once people enjoy that coffee, they will see the difference with the rest of the varieties. And also, uh, certainly the numbers is very limited. What better way to learn more about each other than over a meal or a cup of coffee? We hope you've enjoyed this episode, but that's all the time we have for now. For more, check out Euronews.com and connect with us through our hashtag. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Qatar 365.